the IELTS, well, seminar as we call it, is what we used to know as the principal meeting. Uh, but the biggest shift that we've had over the past years is really a focus on growing leadership. When you look at most of what we're trying to do is based upon how strong a leader you are. And, and there's a lot of aspects to leadership, uh, operational leadership, there's the people part of leadership, but then the instructional leadership is our core business. So we really count on our principals and their, and their leadership team uh, to drive instruction. So when we bring principals together, uh, we, we take leadership concepts and we develop them uh, to ensure that as a leader they're growing and as a team of leaders that we're growing. And today we're using the, the attributes and connecting them to leadership and trying to say, well, how do we serve as exemplars with the IB attributes and how do we make that connection to a practical day-to-day -day application? So we're just not talking about the attributes, but how does that, how do these attributes uh, look like in a principal and a leadership team? So that's what we're doing today and we're, we're, we're making the connection also to the instructional rounds to have now instructional rounds for leadership. We want our, our staff and our principals and our leadership teams to constantly be growing and that's what we're working on today. My name is Abner Mitchell and I'm a sixth grader at Kathy Middle School. My name is Slovin George. And I'm Sofia Nino. And we're sixth graders from Kathy Middle School. My name's Gabriella. My name's Jillian. And we're both sixth graders at Kathy Middle School. In Miss Boone's class. Hello, my name is Daniel and I'm a sixth grader at Kathy Middle School. And at Design, we built robots. This six weeks, we've been working on a robot made out of Legos and that we can program to the computer. At first, we thought it was going to be pretty difficult because um, I've honestly never really worked with Legos before. It actually turned out to be um, really fun. Well, the process was first building the base of the robot and then we started programming it to the computer so that it can move 12, 24, and 36 inches. Well, we took it step by step. Eat, like every day we did a little more. It's a little bit of pressure but at the same time like you want to do good and like you want to impress people. I definitely wanted to prove that like girls can be engineers and like robot engineers and they can do whatever they want to. At first I felt like boys were doing all the work but as we continue doing it we proved that we can also do the work. My favorite part of this project was learning how to program the robot to do fun stuff. We learned how to make it move, do anything we want. The first time when we saw the, the robot in motion, we got scared because we were like, how did this thing move? How did we make it move? It was like a totally it, amazing. It was amazing because like, you, didn't, you never really think that you can accomplish something this big. I never knew that I could, just as a sixth grader, I could make a robot. When it was like finally moving, I just thought, wow, I can do this. I thought, hey, I actually built something that well, works. I felt really proud and, and I felt like I achieved something really big. Today's about you all. Today's about leadership development. Today's about getting better about what we do. Because I know that, as Dr. Bunsen mentioned, we spend a lot of time grinding out the data. I know Bridget and Melba have been on your campuses and you're looking at your data. You're looking at how you can target particular students, how can you can move them across color bands to get distinctions. You're working with your teachers, you're coaching your teachers, and things are moving so fast as, as a principal because you have so many expectations from central, from parents, from students, and everybody around you that sometimes you lose sight of self. And in any organization, in any profession, what a focus on self is ultra important. So today's about that. Being an IB district, as we know, being an IB district, one of the common themes across the IB, what's one of the common themes across the PYP, the MYP, and the Diploma Year program? What's one component that's the same? Does anybody know that? The IB Learner Profile. Very good, the IB Learner Profile. So as we go on this discovery, the cool thing about the IB Learner Profile is it's not just for students. It's not just for teachers. It's for parents, it's for principals, it's for central staff, it's for everybody. Because at the end of the day, we're trying to make great, productive citizens that are going to excel on a global platform. But we're those citizens too. At one day, I mean, one day you sat there and boss, you remember, remember being in seventh grade, eighth grade? 
right? I, I do too, and we all had dreams. And now we're living the dream. I remember third grade. You remember third grade, all right. I remember Katie Schultz. <laughs> you remember Katie Schultz, yeah. Boss had a cross on Katie Schultz, for those of you that don't know. He, he told me that story. <laughs> but no, we remember, and we're living the dream now. I know, I know that I am, in my position, and being able to work with you all, I'm living the dream. And I know that I hear you all say how, how, how proud you are of being in your campus. So as we leverage the Ivy Learner Profile, we're all trying to get better. That's what's really good about today's lesson. Today's lesson is about getting better, self-reflecting, and in the end, just practicing our craft. Because the principalship is ultra important. Who's the, who's the variable in the classroom? The teacher. The teacher's the variable. Why is the teacher the variable? Why is the teacher the variable? Sandra, what, what, why do you think the teacher's the variable? They're the ones that make the difference. Why do they make the difference? Yes. Right. Connecting with the kids. Because they connect with the kids. Who has an impact on teacher development? The biggest impact on teacher development in the building? Yes. The principal, yes. right? So we know that we want student achievement because that's what we're talking about as we're moving students across color bands. And we already know that the teacher is the variable. But we also know that the principal is key. Great schools have great teachers, but great schools also have great leaders. And that's the power of our district. We have principals that are able to work with teachers. So today's about reflecting and looking at the Ivy Learner profile. And every one of you will have an opportunity to delve into a different profile, whether it's to inquire and how we do that as leaders, or whether it's to gain that knowledge, or whether it's how we think through solutions, or how we communicate, or how we're principled, or how we're open-minded, or how we're caring, because that's important or being reflective, or now they're calling it courageous. All those things that come into play are being balanced, as Nancy mentioned, being balanced. All those things are important, so we're gonna go on that journey. Kindness, it's the state or quality of being kind. And it's through this idea, our council decided to go reach our world. Our student council decided that a way to reach out to the people around us was through kindness. And so what we're doing is little small acts of kindness for students and teachers um, to brighten their day and put a smile on their face because ultimately what we hope will happen is that when they get a smile put on their face and their day is made a little bit better that they'll go out and do a kind act for someone else and so it'll be like this snowball effect of everybody just being nice and maybe it'll last longer than just the week. Kindness is a language in which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. So how we started off Kindness Week, and we put different banners and posters just for different kindness quotes and kindness sentences. Uh, we also used banners and uh, flyers to promote our spirit week. And we also did, we involved different classes, like the freshman transition classes. They were passing out different pencils, giving free hugs, just putting different papers around the schools, just to bring up the good side of our, our students, just bringing out the kind side of them, giving out a smile, just kind of make them be nicer to each other. And not just for a week, but hopefully for more time as well. So something new we did this year is that we had a game versus our rival school, which is a big game. So it was the guys playing volleyball against each other, which is the juniors versus juniors and the seniors versus the seniors. And what was great about that is that we got to include and involve a school from our district, which is just awesome because they got to promote kind of speak throughout their school as well. And they also made different shirts and they made posters to promote the game. Everyone got to come to Memorial and watch the game, which is fairly intense. one of my favorite projects from City Council. I love the fact that it brings up a great set of all the students and makes everyone participate, gets to write on our kindness wall, gets to write and count quotes around our school. I just think it creates a huge chain effect, creating smiles all around. Like Student Council really believes in this project obviously because we try to do it every year. We believe every person that does one good thing will set a chain effect that causes us to grow. So let's go reach our world through kindness.
got a great uh, ILS today. Uh, the ILT team did a great job of, of getting everything together. What we're going to do today, first of all, is I want you to assign a materials person in your groups. We've got ten groups. I think everybody's in the correct group. Me. Assign one materials person right now. What is an inquiring instructional leader? What is a carrying instructional leader? And on your paper chart presentation, you have full reign of what you want to do. You want to do pictures, you want to do bullets, <laughs> however you want to describe what an instructional leader that is a communicator would be. So anything that you want to say there and focus on that. Uh, anybody like your balance, what would a balanced instructional leader be? What would those characteristics be? What would you want to see? What, uh, what would the community want to see? And so forth. So look at that. Develop that. You're going to have 10 to 12 minutes to develop that. And then there's going to be one presenter from each group. So establish who the presenter is going to be, the mini expert on that. Once you are finished, after the 10 to 12 minutes, you have everything written on your uh, paper chart. I believe there's tape in these boxes, there's all kinds of markers and so forth. I want you to hang up your IB Learner Profile poster somewhere in the room because we're going to be doing a gallery walk. So kind of spread out, we see kind of columns here, we got some here, here, we already got an easel here, we got a couple here, that way we have a little bit of room. And so just develop that. No, you, as you see there's a lot of interaction, we also try to model that uh, this doesn't lecture, we, we try to model all the, the, the learning strategies that we're wanting to see in our classroom so we can remind uh, each other what, what it should look like on a day-to-day -day basis and that we're also practitioners so that when we're in front of our, our own staff uh, at the campuses, we're modeling what we want to see so that they also see that we're learners and that we have different modalities and we approach learning the, much the same way uh, that we want them to approach learning. The activity that we're working on right now is based around our leadership style and how it connects with the IB Learner Profile. So, uh, for example, in our group we're talking about being good communicators and as a group we're deciding on how that visually looks and how we represent it um, in order to use that, those skills to be a better leader. We have several principals sitting at our group, so we all talked about it. We all looked at what it means to be a good communicator, and to be a good communicator, you should be able to speak in several different languages. You also need to be a, a good listener, so you need to be able to listen to different people's perspectives. So as we looked at what it really meant, we discussed our, all the principals together. We all discussed how we could visually represent that so that we could um, be better listeners, better communicators. In this business of education, it's lifetime. A lifetime learner is who we are and what we do. It's, it's a great day. It's one of the uh, best days of the month that we look forward to when we come to these seminars as principals getting together. And it's a very powerful way uh, that our superintendent is engaging us as leaders in McAllen ISD. Need to here. put the strong philosophy. Uh -huh. How we're going to word it? Mission statement. The va values that reflect IB. Okay. Having a strong philosophy. Okay. At the bottom. Having a strong personal philosophy. Okay. Five more minutes. Five more. Finish up and post your. Uh, are we going to place it up there? I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, I'm going to go back. It was worth it. that's the only way that we will be able to go into personal development and of course in order to develop ourselves we have to have It is important for leaders to understand the IB learner profile and the attributes. There are 10 attributes as you well see we are rotating through each one of the attributes learning to be balanced, principal, reflective, caring, communicator, etc. And through those we will be able to reflect on ourselves as leaders leading different campuses across our district and making a difference from a leadership perspective.
when we are, are engaged in the business of education and we make a difference in a child's life and they come back and express that to us, that's the reward that we get for being in this business of education. Our schools are institutions that serve the community. So what we do on campus is actually an extension of the community. So when we educate our children to the highest level that we can, it will impact our community in a very positive way. We've got to be able to delegate to other people some of that balance as well. We also got to take care of our physical, nutrition, empathy. That's who we are in that sense. When we have problems, we know we've got the manpower behind it to make it happen. So for they are all meshing together. That's the way. We all reminded you to have like Western schools have, and they're doing amazing global like really solid. Uh, one minute. Half stops. What? And with that. And with that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. What? Do you, how, do you want to group them? Yeah, we want to group. Them. How do we communicate as administrators? There's various ways. First of all, we need to be good listeners to different perspectives, different languages, different different points of view. We need to, it's all about being a servant leader and showing compassion towards our staff. And when we model that, the whole school ends up reflecting on that and becoming caring themselves. Those resources to give them and making them high qualified personnel. And it really, I mean, evaluation is all right. The things you provide. Uh, we're looking at the 10 IB learner profile attributes uh, that our students and our teachers get, but we wanted to take that to the next level and make sure that our instructional leaders. Uh, we're very aware of the IB learner profile attributes and can take their game to another level. So what they're doing now is a gallery walk and what the gallery walk is is uh, they became many experts in their attribute and now they're presenting to all the other principals. So they're going to go through 10 different stations. Uh, they're going to present for about three minutes and before they presented there was a group that got together and looked at that IB learner profile attribute and they dialogued on what an instructional leader would be as a, in, in connection to those IB learner profile attributes. So if we're talking about IB, are we leading and living IB as an instructional leader? And that's what we want to kind of calibrate today and just take our game as instructional leaders to the next level. ¿Quién soy yo? Yo soy el resultado del esfuerzo de la comunidad. Soy el resultado de exploraciones académicas, en la biblioteca, en el salón, con la tecnología, en ciencias. Soy el producto de una gran línea de maestros profesionales de ayer y hoy. ¿Quién soy? Soy el futuro y el futuro es hoy. Ven y celebra las escuelas públicas de Texas, porque todo es importante. This is Seguin Elementary, one of many great Texas public schools where... Physical education, it matters. Technology. Relationships, they matter. The better relationships you have, no matter if you're a teacher, on the court, or in class, the better your learning experience will be. You need to be able to work together as one, not only in school, but in life. Connections formed at school can create a positive learning environment. Kids want to learn and expand their knowledge. Being compassionate and supportive is necessary every day. It matters. Celebrate Texas public schools.
So we have 10 books that, that we're going to be presenting to the principals and uh, they're going to look through those books. Most of the principals have read these books and um, we're tying them back into the, to the IB Learner Profile, which um, helps us realize that, that we are not doing anything new, but just tying it back to, to um, what, we, what we're doing you know, as, as a district. And uh, some of them are motivational books, some of them are, are books uh, that deal with through curriculum, but uh, the ultimate goal today would, would be to uh, correlate those books to the IB Learner Profile and, and, um, and try to see where they fit in and how we are going to bring those in so that um, for our staff it doesn't seem like, like we're uh, um, adding more to the plate but enhancing what we already have. And I think l listening to my colleagues uh, has helped us, you know, reflect on some of the things that we're doing and, and uh, try to change some, some things uh, for the future. Uh, you can see our, our influence across, across the community and, and you want to be a, a positive member and contributor uh, to the community and, and it is. It's proud uh, to see that our leaders take, take their job very seriously and they know what's at stake. And as, as we've always said, we, we, we have our, our greatest asset, which is, which is all the students, and, and we take that very seriously.